when we started in 1971, the fall of 71, uh, this building was basically brand new. This was the newest building at, the, at that time that they had uh, had to gone out and built. And originally, the building uh, was built to house vocational classes, and it was called the vocational building, obviously. And it's changed uh, uses over over several years, but or several times over the years. But uh, at that time, uh, this was this was the uh, the homemaking department was uh, located here. Uh, we had a sewing lab where uh, they took uh, home economics classes. They took the sewing classes. Uh, had a little food service. Anyway, uh, uh, then we had a distributive education uh, section that was that was taught here. They called distributive education. They went out, they came to school half a day and worked half a day. Uh, we had a VOE, which is vocational education department, where they taught them vocational skills. And in, in the back on the east end of the building at that time, there was a uh, wood shop where they, they uh, actually they went out and built houses at that time. Uh, that was one of the projects of the, of the kids that uh, worked in the wood shop. They had a small engine repair uh, where they taught them to work on small engines, and, and uh, that was a vocational trade that the kids learned. And the far end of the building on the east side was the auto mechanics lab. So consequently, the building was called the vocational education building because that's what they taught here. There was a need back in the early 70s. Uh, the, the tendency was to uh, try to teach kids that weren't basically college bound or they wanted to learn a trade to get out when they graduated and use that trade to make a living. So that was the purpose of the building was to uh, enforce that and uh, uh, back, give those kids a background. They could go out and uh, uh, learn a trade at school and use that when they graduated. Yeah, you want me to tell you what happened next it, to the building before you guys got over here? <laughs> in 1980, 79 or 80, they built a new high school out where the present location is now. And uh, they moved the junior high school, which I was an assistant principal at that time at the junior high. They moved our campus from Central Elementary over to here, where the Central Elementary is now. We, they moved it across to the old high school. So... Uh, fortunately, at, at the uh, junior high school level, we had an opportunity to use the building, and we use it for special ed services. Special needs kids had their own little area. We use it as a, a computer lab and uh, three classrooms full of computers. And we uh, really started the computer lab program for, uh, for the Belton Junior High School in this building. And then it's reverted several times to two different things. Of all the buildings, uh, District-wide, this is probably the one building that has changed uh, being used so many times, but it's certainly a nice facility now, and the, the district should be proud of it. And uh, we are certainly uh, happy to help you out and give you some facts about the building. It was opened in 1970, and here we are sitting here in 2012.